Tell us a little bit about the event today, Mario. Well, this whole event here was actually just kind of like a, to kick off the, the Brown season. Um, obviously, you know, we're all, the Brown, this is Brownstown, and we're all big Browns fans. We're all we're all excited about the, the season to start, and obviously starting against the, uh, the Steelers. But more importantly, to, to raise funds for the Berea Children's Home, which is a, a local charity here in Berea. Um, they do a lot of great things for, for the community, and uh, we were just raising funds for them. So with the help of, um, you know, serious fans and uh, Sports Talk Cleveland and, and Cameron Wimbley and Eric Steinbeck and all the Browns fans that came out today, um, we were able to do to, to achieve our goal with that. The serious fans have got a chance to grab the bone lady in the back parking lot. <laughs> and listen, my first question before you run away from me is, I've got to ask you this. A lot of guys just have a certain feeling about a gal dressed up in Browns gear. There is something so hot about a woman dressed up in Browns gear, and you pull off that outfit so well, do you know what you do to the guys when they see you dress like that? Be <laughs> honest you, now. Be, be honest, honest now. Thank do you, you know Scott. the effect you have? Do I, um, not always. But I will say, I, I do get quite a few marriage proposals every game. <laughs> wow. And usually I'll say, how many beers have you had? <laughs> Well, while we're on the subject, are you single, Bone Lady? Yes, are you, I am. The I'm Bone Lady bone. is single, guys. The lone Bone. The Lone Bone. Hunter. Yeah, and I've got the I've got the serious Browns fans Only microphone, you. and I said Milf Hunter. That's right, Milf Hunter. Only you, Tony Mason. I'm, shou I'm shouting you, right into now. He's now a mixed martial arts dude. He fought Ray Mercer. Ray Mercer went into mixed martial arts, and he went back to boxing after that. He said, I can't do it anymore. But once again, we are live out at Scoundrels in Berea. Well, you know, I don't know all the details of why they cut everybody or the people that they did, but obviously, uh, whatever they did, I, they feel that it's in the best interest of the team. So, you know, I guess I agree with the moves that they made. Uh, so definitely, I, I know some of the guys will be coming back. Uh, to help us out with the practice squad and you know if somebody goes down I'm sure they'll be ready but uh, oh yeah you know but yeah, was there any fear of you <laughs> making the list there <laughs> I, I guess I don't try to think about failure now nah, when I go in you know I have the attitude that I want to be a starter I want to play so you know I don't really think about it too much right. <laughs> I don't think it was a, so a concern at all cup, right? <laughs> man they, that wouldn't have been a good move to, to draft me first round and then get rid of me what, like a year later so. we've seen Stranger things in Cleveland, sir. You know, we got to stay away from that subject too, because you got to put that in the hands of the coaches. You know, because really, they all—all all three quarterbacks are good, uh, good quarterbacks, and the coaches, you know, coming up to the game, the Steelers game, will decide who's best for the team. You know, to go out there and lead the way, and uh, it's never set in stone. So whoever they go with, you're right, offensive line. We just want to go out and block and do our job. So whoever's back there is who the coaches feel is best to put us in the winning situation. Who's got the ugliest cheerleaders in the NFL that you see? Man, you know what? My wife probably won't. <laughs> she probably won't like that I rate the cheerleaders. But honestly, I don't think I don't think I've seen a team with, with horrible cheerleaders. I could tell you who has the best, but right, as far as cheerleaders, uh, I think a lot of the guys love traveling out to San Diego. I, I don't think they like that. <laughs> or actually, that exactly I think they like going to said. Oakland too. You know, I think on the West Coast, you know, it's a little bit different out there. Everything might not be real, but uh, Baltimore and their male cheerleaders didn't make the cut. <laughs> What's that now? Baltimore with their male cheerleaders didn't make the cut. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't look at the Baltimore <laughs> cheerleaders too much or anything like that. So, you know, when we're playing them, it's, it's our division opponent, so it's serious. You know, I'm focused on the guys we're playing. <laughs> If somebody wants to send money to contribute to the Berea Children's Home, where should they do that after this event's over? Uh, absolutely. They can do it at uh, www.bchfs.org. That's the Berea Children's Home website. Okay. They can do it uh, online there. And even if they don't want to, uh, to donate cash, they can also you know, donate their time and services and uh, really help out families that way as well. Click back next week for the final installment in this series as we answer the question, is Romeo as unemotional in the locker room as he is on the field? Plus, if you want to see what it's like to roll into the Muni lot in high style, come back next week and check out that big brown bus.